so importance of product ownership so important of product ownership can certainly be accounted by the product owner so he is responsible for ensuring and maximizing the overall value of the product resulting from the work of the scrum team so product owner is also accountable for having an effective product backlog management so it's the responsibility of the product owner to uh, ensure that the, uh, the 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 value uh, of the product get maximized as part of the product ownership so he represents the focus of the stakeholders uh, as a part of his discussions uh, with all stakeholders and he is also responsible for fostering an alignment to the vision and strategy. So as we said, product owner is responsible for creation of product vision and strategy. And finally, the fostering part and alignment to the uh, to the product, uh, product vision and strategy as well. So product owner also helps to do the improving the uh, adaptability in case of any issues as well so he's responsible for improving the adaptability as well and in the end uh, he's also responsible for enabling uh, effective uh, team work within the overall scrum so uh, as part of this module as part of this discussion uh, this uh, basically talks about how and why product ownership is important and how product owner plays a vital role uh, in terms of ensuring uh, the product uh, product gets everyone's uh, due traction by presenting the focus of the stakeholders, by fostering the alignment to the vision and strategy, and also by improving the overall adaptability and enabling the more effective teamwork being managed and handled across. Uh, so you can always go through more details of it uh, in this uh, a definitive guide to Scrum. Uh, which has a detailed reference. So these are the skills, uh, traits, and behavior uh, of the product owner, which you can always uh, talk and discuss um, uh, at length. So uh, the first and foremost behavior, uh, which we have to uh, talk about uh, as a part of the role is, uh, we need to be ensuring the solutions basically meet the customers and the users need so whenever you are doing any product development uh, so the solutions which uh, you are trying to create in form of, of a product they should definitely meet the customer or users need also we need to be operating very effectively within the organization context so we have to be working very closely to ensure that we we carry out the work in a most effective manner uh, we also need to consider the technical feasibility and we should always be following the regulatory requirements of the solutions as well. Additionally, we should think to collaborate as a member of the Scrum team. So these are the important behaviors which are needed or required for successful in a kind of product development environment. So now talking specifically about uh, these uh, traits uh, so if you if you see some of these traits uh, uh, and uh, specifically when we are seeing the product development there are uh, multitudes of skills and traits there that is required uh, for the product owner uh, to be effective and successful so the first and foremost uh, important trait is your strategic thinker so he need to understand the bigger picture of the product and he should be responsible for the creation of the vision strategy roadmap now how the product will fit into the overall organization's mission vision uh, so should be clear with the product owner and the factor uh, you know this uh, you know he should also be responsible for factoring this information into the effective decision making uh, around the product as well so that's how your product owner needs to be a strategic thinker when he's trying to come up with a product vision strategy and overall product roadmap and the next important trait uh, is uh, your effective communicator so uh, as a product owner he should be able to communicate uh, with different stakeholders customers your scrum team using the most appropriate methods and style so he should be good in terms of uh, 
uh, telling the story of the product so why the why the product is in uh, why the product is required so you should be a great storyteller uh, in terms of ensuring uh, through the effective communication skills you should be able to uh, sell the product uh, to all the stakeholders so effective communication is a uh, is a most uh, is the foremost important skill uh, required uh, by the product owner and the next important skill is your uh, collaborator so your product owner should effectively collaborate with the members of scrum team with the customers other stakeholders in order to achieve the common objective so he should be a great collaborator as well a differentiator a product owner basically should be a great differentiators uh, in, term, in terms of helping the stakeholders distinguish between what the needs are what are the wants so what are the needs and wants of the uh, of the of the stakeholders what adds the value and what doesn't so the product owner should be able to differentiate these aspects of your stakeholders product owner should be also a good problem solver he should have a good negotiation negotiation skills and a great uh, conflict resolution skills to address the problems that are impeding the progress or reducing the value of the team works and resulting the overall increment. So uh, problem solving is the key uh, uh, skill which is required to be there within the product owner. Uh, 